Hello YouTube, it is Shining Gold with uh, Oblivion Knights of the Nine Walkthrough Part 3. Um, in this part, we are going to be finishing up the cruc getting the Crusaders home. And right there, I was just knocked over by that Wraith, which is not a cool thing at all. He's not hes not a nice dude, and he's dead. Yeah, I hate i hate Wraiths because they don't just fall over when they die. They have to make that, they have to do that animation that makes it look as if they're still alive, so I end up swinging my sword still like an idiot. And then, and that's just not cool. Okay, right here, um... Right here, I do. I skip a little bit. Like I, I kind of skip past this this uh, puzzle kind of thing. I don't know. I, I just jump. I, I doubt you were supposed to do that, but I did because I'm a cool guy like that. And I'm not sure how much agility you need to do that, but it was it it was fine for me. I I jumped right over. Okay, get the get the helmet. There you go. Got the helmet. Now after you get the helmet. Um, you can't just leave, unlike previous ideas. You have to... Oh my god. You have to fight that guy down there. See? See him down there? He's a, he's a lich. And he is actually Sir Amiel. And Emil, Amiel... I don't know. You have to, you have to kill him. So, so do that. He totally cheated right there. He shot a he shot a spell through that gate. I thought the gates were just you just couldn't get through them, but you can because he shot a spell. Now now I'm mad. So I do that. Then then I jump and I charge at him. Serious seriously. And then yeah, really seriously. And he's dead. And I just killed him with a dagger. Yeah. So, uh. You have to, you have to, have to, have to take this guy's. I oh, know the lich wasn't Ceremiel. This, the skeleton was. You have to take his journal, and you have to take his key, and you have to take his ring. If you don't take his ring, then you, you'll be totally, totally confused. I'm not even sure if it'll let you leave without his ring, but you can't continue through the plot without the ring. It messes you up. Okay. You see, you see how this is just all messed up. Um, I think, I think a lot of the time spent here in this walkthrough is going to be me kind of just walking throughout this dungeon. Um, I'm not sure. I think I might be actually making my way out. Look at that, right there. That's, that's a total, just pointless door. Might as well not be a door. It might as well just be a mound of dirt. Because if you open a door and then there's a mound of dirt, then you'll be angry. You'll be like, geez, I opened this door to find nothing. Just that's just terrible. Um, oh, hey, look, more enemies. Hey, look, a skeleton. Hey, look. Oh, the skeleton evaporated. That's fine and dandy. Okay, walk, walk over here. Open to the lost catacombs. I'm not sure if we're supposed to. Be. This is a bit, this is this is not very very good. I think that that little jump that I made there was uh was very hurt was was just not good. But hey, at least you get to see me stabbing a bunch of wraiths in the neck. Not wraiths. Which is, that's, but that's better, you know. I mean, I'd rather see a lich than a wraith. I mean, duh. I think I think what's supposed to be happening is now is that after you take the helmet, then the the glitches and the everything is supposed to be coming at you and stopping you. But that's it's just not that's not they're not stopping me. Well, that guy's stopping me because he keeps knocking me over because of his stupid drain agility spell. Yeah, he's dead though. Now I should. I think I'm about to use some strong potions. No. Yep. Yep. There you go. Strong potions. Yeah, yeah. I can't drink any potions right now. <laughs> I like doing that. It's kind of weird how skeletons can summon skeletons, but humans can't summon humans. I mean, if. It's just kind of weird how an undead enemy can control the undead. It's just kind of like, why isn't he, why isn't he, he controlling an army of the undead? You know, 
Because that would just be like the undead led by the undead, and that would be like awesome. Like if I was if I was attacked by an army of the undead led by the undead, like it would it would just be like I would I would I would just die, like period, just like right there, It'd be fine. I wouldn't care because I knew that I didn't have a chance. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm very sorry. It's like late here. <laughs> Oh, 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 oh. Fight more, fight more of these enemies. Which are pretty strong, especially when they're when they're charging at you in threes. And I think I cut I think I cut it right cut it cut cut it, it, it right there. And uh put it back to a place where I am, you know, actually doing what I'm supposed to be doing. You doing what you're supposed to be doing? <laughs> Scoff. Oh, God. For all I know, I think it. I skipped forward a lot here. I, I think I did. Yeah, I got lost, so I... Uh, we're supposed to go out here, is the thing. I got lost. Isn't that, isn't that professional of me? At least I cut it out. Actually, that could be... All that could be considered me being lost, but... You're not going to tell anybody, right? Right. I thought. <laughs> Killing these dudes. <laughs> that guy's just floating everywhere. He's just a floater. And then there's. I don't know how the, uh. If you can, um. If a wraith can. If you can't kill a wraith with an elven sword then how can you uh then how can a wraith hold an elven sword that we, i don't know can can you kill wraiths with elven swords the game there's one loading screen that says that you can only kill ghosts with uh diedric silver or like enchanted weapons so i don't know are all of his weapons enchanted maybe how do they get enchanted weapons? Do they enchant them themselves? If they spent that much time on their weapons, then I kind of feel bad for killing him in like two hits. Because that's just like ruining his entire life. I mean, where where are they enchanting their items? I mean, are they just picking up items off the ground? It's weird. Like, who... Uh, who is supplying these raids with weapons? Like, they should have their own ghost weapons. Like why why what what's the point of having what's the point of having puny human weapons? I mean and like what what do they like die with them or something? That's that's a cop out. You can't say that because if you die with your weapons, you become a skeleton. Duh. That, as we saw with Sir Emil, Amiel, Emil, Emil. I don't know. Oh God. Rambling, rambling, rambling. Okay, so get out here. Then we return to the surface before we die, because we don't want to die. Yeah. If you're an Argonian, you don't have to worry about those things. Nor do you have to worry about getting poisoned by the, uh... By Ravis and lich, Liches and all that good stuff. Okay, so, um... Uh, now we're going to the Priory of the Nine, as said in our quest log. And I, I don't know why I'm trying to look over there for it, because it really is just right there. Scroll over it, and boom, we're here. You can't really fast travel there. Don't think you can. I just edited out, like, ten minutes of me getting there. So there you go. Okay. Right here. Really, 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 a part that I did not realize when I first did this. Is you, if, in order to get down there, you have to press on that star thing. And you have to have Sir Amiel's ring. And I, I didn't realize that at first. So. So go down here. And, uh. You're in the basement, and there's a door over there. So we open the door, and what's what's behind it? I don't know. We'll find out next time, guys.